singing films, a few dances. Julie Life with type 1 diabetes for this mother-daughter duo is a shared experience. But more than 30 years ago, Nikki Miller was by herself. I didn't really have anyone to talk to back then because I lived in a really small rural community, and so I didn't know anybody with diabetes. I have friends who don't have parents with type 1 diabetes, and I think that's when I realize how much easier it is. You're right where you need to be. Earl Hirsch, a type 1 diabetic himself, has treated Nikki since she was a child. Whenever you have a child who has a parent with the same disease, it's a lot easier for that child to talk to the parent. Peyton Miller has spent half her life with type 1 diabetes. Now 18 and a senior in high school, she and her mother are sharing diabetes and smarter technology together. Each has a new matching hybrid insulin pump recently approved by the FDA. If I go low, it catches it and it stops giving me insulin. And if I start going high, it brings more insulin in. This is integrated, but the pump is actually working with the sensor simultaneously. So they're working together, whereas the other ones, they were working separately. The new hybrid closed loop system includes a sensor and has an auto mode. It also requires a prescription. I'm excited about it because there will be a large number of people this is going to dramatically improve their quality of life. Having said that, there are going to be some patients where it's going to be too much, too much of a burden, and they're not going to want to do it. Even though the pump technology is smarter than ever before, patients still have to test their blood three times a day and adjust to changes in the computer algorithm. It will never be as good as somebody without diabetes, no matter how good the technology gets. And the reason for that is that when insulin is secreted from somebody without diabetes, it goes from the pancreas directly into the liver, where it has its greatest impact. But this new technology is as good as it gets for Peyton. Yeah, I love it. Now I don't want to not be wearing it. From the UW Medicine newsroom in Seattle, this is Megan Clark.